that. There actually weren't too many submissions this week, so uh, yeah, send your replays in for next week and you've got a really friggin' high chance of getting them in. For now though, we did have a very hard challenge this week, guys. It was only the strong survive and any player in the red or orange has to be executed. Now that's always open to your own interpretation a little bit. Um, generally, it means you don't have to kill your own shit mid-battle, but as soon as the battle's over, it's like, hey, bam, red, orange units, get the fuck out of here. So we're gonna have to see how these guys played it. Spawning up here in the top left-hand side in the red, it is linking. And down in the bottom right-hand side in the blue, he is a giant dad. Giant Dad's become a regular in the past month, a uh, month or so on Icy Far, sending in some really funny replays, and uh, a mixture of playing all three races in them as well. So good shit. So um, Giant Dad had a Platinum logo, and Linking had a Diamond logo when I was loading this replay up. So we're gonna have to see if the play looks anything vaguely like that skill level. And uh, I would assume that Giant Dad is probably the one playing the challenge, but you never know. He might have uh, ran into Linking on ladder, and he was playing it, or or perhaps uh, arranged to play it during uh, through the Pig Discord. So we have to see how we go. Yeah, Giant Dad. Giant Dad has played some amazing games. He also played that friggin' stupidest game I've ever seen. I don't know if any of you guys remember a few weeks ago. Um, I can't even remember what the challenge was. I just remember he was playing against a mass Oracle Protoss, and his answer to that was just to take about sixteen different hatcheries. And just rally slow zerglings at his opponent. Okay, I've just remembered. So, <laughs> so what he did, uh, it was the one where you can only build ground units that fight ground units and air units that fight air units. So instead of actually getting spire units to deal with the oracles, he just rallied slow zerglings out of about 14 hatcheries. And he actually exaggerated the challenge. Like, you were still meant to be able to build queens for injects with the challenge. He didn't build queens, took eight bases and just rallied slow zerglings into cannons and oracles. And they killed nothing. And he just left his rally point in the Protoss' base and just kept building Zerglings for about 20 minutes straight. And eventually, like, the Oracle started running out of energy, and then he, like, upgraded Zergling speed about 18 minutes into the game and started actually killing things. And I was like, what the fuck is going on in this game? There was, like, a cannon with, like, 60 Zergling kills or something. It was, it was the dumbest thing I've ever watched in my life. At the end of it, I was kind of amused, and I was very angry at the same time because I couldn't really comprehend what I just watched. But, uh, I mean, that's Giant Dad. That, that's Giant Dad for us. He gives us some special replays, so let's let's see what he does here. It looks like it's going to be an expansion into Stargate 3-Gate. Oracle. Oh, shiny disco ball. Let's go. Protoss seems to be a sensible choice for this challenge. Shield health is on top of what lets you go orange red. That is true to be released. That is true. Um, I, I, I realize, yeah, that, like, Protoss is, like, I guess a little bit easier to do this with, but then your unit's, are, like, bigger and, and buffer, so it's also, like, way worse when they're, um, when they're out of the way as well, right? So, uh, yeah. Giant Dad melt my brain? Yeah. Let's, let's see if he can melt my brain again. Make me, make me want to hurt myself. Ah, uh, <laughs> so far, guys, we have Ling King here. Building Marauders. <laughs> It's like the first two marines just popped out, and there's an oracle on the way. Newsflash! Marauders can't shoot up. Oracles fucking destroy two marines. Um, Linking drops the scan, says, Ah, that's a Stargate. Ah. Ah. Uh. Eh. 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 Hmm. Nope, nah, he's not even responding. No, no engineering, but he's just like, what? I want his camera, guys. We're on, we're on, we're on Linking's camera. He's like, I better get a reactor on my factory. Um, better put down a stuff. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, giant dad though. Turns out he's also a giant pussy. Oracle just ran away from four unupgraded marines. Um, if you guys have never seen four unupgraded uh, marines versus an oracle, it's a lot like, um, you know, when you know that the dad's play fighting with his children, except um, he's actually not not play fighting. He's actually stabbing them in the throat repeatedly with a screwdriver. That's kind of like an oracle fighting four marines. So we saw the oracle decided, you know what? Actually, on second thought, I can take that fight. Goes back in, kills a few more marines. This oracle is just chilling. He's like, oh, I want I want it to be close. I don't want to just go in and kill the mineral line. 
I want to wait for you to have a chance. So Giant Dad's just going to chill for a little while. He's very focused on his macro. You can see he's building nothing, supply blocked and floating 1100 minerals right now. So it's, it's just Giant Dad macro, guys. Don't worry. Um, back at home, Linking is like, I better build more Marauders. That will help me against the Oracles. And he's got a Missile Turret in the main base as well, you know. Oh my god, both bases? The preparation on this guy. It's almost like he can see into the future at the Oracle that hasn't been microed for six minutes. Uh, Linking, getting out some Winner Mines as well. Gonna try and get some Chicken Chicken Winner Dinner. Um, I think that's how the saying goes. That's, uh, that's what you get in the PUBG, right guys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, it always makes my dumb jokes much more worthwhile when Sean walks past and gets to have a giggle at them as well, guys. Makes it much more enjoyable. Uh, looks like Linking now is going to go across the map and <laughs> look at this army. He's got five marine, six marines, five marauders, and two winner mines. Um, Giant Dad, fortunately for Linking, has not built any units, so he's just got nothing. The Oracle just went in, took a few missile turret shots to the face. Oh, a few more adepts warping in. You know, if this was a fair and balanced game, we might even say, I think you've done goofed, Giant Dad. You floated a few thousand minerals. You didn't really do as much as you should have. You're dead. Luckily for Giant Dad, he plays Protoss, and um, his pylons can fucking shoot giant lasers that just destroy everything. So I have a feeling, there we go, overcharge goes down. Terran goes from, wow, no way to lose this game, to holy fucking shit, no way to win this game. Um, good job, pylon. Good fucking job, mate. More adepts warping in. And uh, Lin King running out of steam here. He's got a bit of a parade push going. Maybe he should just kill the third. I don't know. Lin King, so far this game, hasn't really been too focused on uh, anything other than building Marauders and A moving. Uh, we're going to have to see how he goes. There is a single Void Ray. Uh, spoiler alert, a Void Ray does not beat six Marines. Um, a Void Ray trying to fight Marines is a lot like if you gave all of the small children wrestling their dad knives and um, the dad didn't have arms or legs. Uh, that's probably what a Void Ray versus a couple of Stim Marines would look like. Let's just say he would get fucked up pretty badly. Um, oh, 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 friendly fire, Widow Mines! No, the Widow Mines didn't quite fire. My dreams were not answered. And uh, looks like Linking's just going to Stim and take a shit all over Giant Dad. So, Giant Dad. Um, oh my god, he's, yeah, he's kind of, oh. All of his shit's getting killed so far, so he's not even having a chance to execute his own units. Um, nonetheless, though, I'm enjoying the game. I think it's it's quite entertaining. I'm, I'm down with it. He's going to lose his third base. Um, linking here, just, just casually doing that, taking a third behind it. Still got his Widow Mines out here. There is no Observer out at all. Oh, man, just burps into the mic. I'm a refined human being. And, oh, this wi oh, winner. Oh, Widow Mine. <laughs> Oh, you gotta kill your own in debt there, buddy. Or send it into the front of battle. Either way works, I guess. There's uh, there's different forms of execution. You know how it works. Oh, he's out of overcharge energy. He's in trubs, man. Giant Dad, he's building a disruptor. That's his one chance here. Because, you know, sometimes you're down and out. Um, these guys, they've broken into your home. There's a whole bunch of big dudes in armor with guns. They're robbing your shit. And you say... Realistically, me as a regular average person, I don't live in America, I don't have six guns in my cupboard, what can I do? So, you pull your balls out, and you basically say, maybe the fear of my testicles will scare them away. Let's see if it works! Balls! Oh my god! Not every day you see someone swing their balls around, whack a home intruder in the face, and it fucking decapitates him, but that's what we just saw. Giant dad! Bursting out, he says, you know what? I'm proud of my balls. I can take a few Widow Mines to the face. His Observer kind of gets wrecked by the Widow Mine Splash. I like the way he tried to dodge the Widow Mine, pulled back, and clumped all his units up. And uh, now it looks like Linking, even though he got some sick Winter Mine shots, gets overwhelmed by the Immortals. The power of balls. Giant Dad just whips it out when most needed. And it uh, looks like he does repel that attack. Well done, Giant Dad. Oh, another ball gets rid of the last Winter Mine. And, uh... The testicular defense is what we call that one. It's, uh, it's, yeah, good save. Good save by Giant Dad. But Linking's got a third behind it. He's been transitioning. No units in the orange. Has Giant Dad had to execute any units or have I just missed it, guys? I missed the execution. Okay, I'm going to go back and check that at the end of the replay, guys. Too busy talking about testicles. Didn't even notice that he's actually killing his own shit. Uh, we're going to go back and check that. Hopefully this game goes a bit longer. We get to see a few more executions. Uh, of course, the challenge was only the strong survive. So Giant Dad 
He's, he's not meant to just be throwing his balls around. He's meant to be killing off his own units if they, uh, if they survive a battle with too few hit points. So, you're going to have to see how this one goes. We've got Stalkers, Blink, Immortals. Uh, we got one ball. we got two balls. Oh, he's got a full set. He's a, that's a full set right there. Okay, cool. Full set can get the job done. Uh, we got what? Little Bioforce. Oh, Cyclones. <laughs> Cyclones versus Immortals and Disruptors. <laughs> Spoiler alert, this one doesn't go well. <laughs> oh, Linking just got shot on. Oh, man. That, he got shot on harder than a dude with a weird fetish in a whorehouse. That was fucking disgusting. GG. Let's go back and find those executions because I was not paying attention and I'm a terrible caster. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. All right. So 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 let's let's find the executions. Eon Blue, who, who actually looks through the replays and makes sure the people actually fit the uh, the challenge and selects them. He said there was there was an orange hit point oracle. They got they got sacrificed. Oh, that was this guy, right? Oh yeah, he did get below half life. Just barely got into the orange. Oh okay. So let's see what happened to him. Okay, so he comes back. How does he kill him? Overcharge? Does he overcharge? He overcharges his own oracle. <laughs> Good sacrifice there. Only the strong survive. That disco ball was three hit points below fifty percent. Not counted as strong. And the rest of these Protoss who are very comfortable in their masculinity, or I guess in the case of 90% of them being adepts, femin feminine masculinity. Um, femininity? I know big words. Uh, then that, that happens. So what about the adept? I heard there was an adept that died as well. We're going to fast forward through. I guess it's after this first wave or something like that. Let's take a look. Oh, 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 that adept. Yeah, that adept's low. Turn on her. Turn on her. No. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, it looks like she's just going to die in the battle. What about this one, though? Oh, ooh, yeah, other ones are getting bruised. All right, Giant Dad. Giant Dad's going forward, going forward, going forward. Oh, that Oracle gets blasted. Eh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go! Oh! Whole bunch of fucking laser frisbees to the face, and she just goes down. All right, nice, nice. GG's. Well played, Giant Dad. Fantastic replay there to start us off with the uh, only the strong survive icy far. Good shit. Femsculinity? I think that's a word, Arjun. I'm going with it. I'm going to use that one from now on. Thank you. Arjun is officially the chat uh, wordinator. You're the person who teaches me new words when I'm too stupid to do that. Let's dive straight on into game number two, guys. 